Hey guys, it's Stephen here, back with another video. It's the return of the transfer target today. We're talking about some transfers, talking about some rumours that are going around, and one in particular about a young Spanish winger who could be, if things pan out a certain way, Leroy Sarnage replacing before... I go too far. As ever, I want to say thank you to One Football for sponsoring this channel. Why have you not downloaded it yet? If you're watching these videos regularly and you've not downloaded it yet, then what? just honestly, why not? It's a brilliant app. It gives you loads of transfer news. It gives you loads of stats and all that kind of stuff. It's totally free. You get notifications on your phone of any breaking news that will be relevant to your support, your club, or your players that you like and all that kind of stuff. So go and download it now in the link in the description below. I promise you, it's absolutely fantastic. One Football, thank you for sponsoring this channel. Once again, absolute heroes. Go and download it now. But today it's all about transfer news and all that kind of stuff um, and it's a new name uh, for the transfer target today um, it's directly linked to the future of Leroy Sane uh, it's Mikel Yarzabel uh, hopefully I pronounced that right I've never said that out loud before you know I've heard of his name a couple of times I don't really know much about him I'm not going to lie I can't say what Sashi Dad play very often I have seen his name banded about um, but this guy is pretty much new to me really so what I've spent the last half an hour 45 minutes doing is reading about him watching videos all that kind of stuff and trying to get um, kind of get some kind of finger of what this play is actually like. Kind of, kind of work out basically what he could bring to Manchester City if he does come. Now, obviously, there's a very big if here. This basically relates to um possible scenario where Leroy Sain does leave the club. Now, I still don't think he will leave. I think he'll end up staying. Um But we've got a very good plan for any eventuality where this could actually come true. And Leroy Sane. It could happen. It could happen. Every single day he doesn't sign a contract, gets one closer step to a day where he could actually leave. Now, my instinct is still that, despite all the, the niggliness in the press and all this kind of stuff, I still think Leroy Sane will actually stay. And even though he did look pretty kind of tetchy in yesterday's game, and go check out that match report, it'll be on screen now in a card. If you've not already, I thought Sane yesterday was pretty poor, body language-wise. I still think he'll end up being here. I don't think Bayern will pay what we want them to pay. And I think if we made Leroy Sane available, I think clubs would be willing to pay a lot more than what Bayern want to pay. But having said that, let's countenance the idea that this could actually happen, Leroy Sane could go, which basically would mean Manchester City need a new winger. And this is where this lad comes in, apparently. Uh, Mikel, Yo uh, Mikel Yazabel, he's got a €75 million Euro release clause, allegedly, which is a very Manchester City thing to do. Uh, Cheeky loves his release clauses. How much is that in million? Let's have a look. Uh, that is £67 million. So that'd be like kind of a club record transfer fee there, basically, um, for a young 22-year-old winger. Now, what do we know about him? Well, he's had a bit of much... Um, he's basically very highly rated, really highly rated. It's very different. We're talking like... It's joke and, you know, joke and cheese stuff with Leroy Sane. Uh, but he's very highly rated. Now, with the past two or three years, he started to turn heads. He was actually David Moyes when he's at Sausage and he gave him his debut, weirdly, which is a funny old turn of events. Um, but he hasn't started turning heads with his dynamic and industrious play. I've done that thing where you go watch someone on YouTube and all that kind of stuff and you read several articles about people like him. And they all say and show very similar things. One thing they do show is that he's a very good finisher. He really is. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's very comfortable finishing with either foot. A uh, very fierce finisher. A uh, very instinctive first-time finisher, which I like. So he's already got like 14 goals last season and four assists in 41 appearances. For a team, obviously, that doesn't create anywhere near as much chances as Manchester City. So he would be clinical and he would score goals. That, that's obvious. Um, some of the finishes are instinctive first-time finishes from a decent position, like or from like 20 yards as you're airing, whatever. And they're very good, genuinely, te technically excellent. So he, he would score plenty of goals in this team, that's for certain. The one thing he wouldn't bring though is sheer pace and um, Leroy Sane is a freak in that front in terms of Leroy Sane's potential ceiling limit is just ridiculous we all know this uh, Leroy Sane is just lightning quick you know the way that we burst forward and cowers with his pace and his driven ability to beat four men at once uh, this guy can't do that. He simply cannot do that. But what he seems to bring stylistically is a very dynamic approach. He's literally all about that dynamism. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the comparisons say about like Griezmann, and I can actually genuinely say that. Um, he seems very direct. He seems to be very good and kind of like in tight spaces. He has this kind of hunger to win the ball. You know, some players just want it a little bit more, so they kind of wriggle through or whatever. He seems to have a bit of that to him. Uh, and according to things I've read online, he, he can really, really intelligently play anywhere across the front three. He initially kind of broke into the team uh, when he was younger as a left winger. He got more and more kind of flexible and started playing uh, basically across the front three where he could just float from left to centre to right and back and forth and cause trouble there. There. Um, and that's where he's getting better and better at doing it. It was this season where he really started to stand out for Sassi Dad. He's already made his full debut now for Spain. He's been uh, fantastic for Spain's youth teams. And Barcelona and Real Madrid have been watching him quite intently. Now, 
Um, it'd be a very different proposition to Zani, as we were just saying then. Um, uh, what I like about the idea of this lad, though, is that even though I'd be gutted to see Sane go, um, I mean, Sane sometimes, I think Sane will probably end up being a better player than this guy, but doesn't mean he'll be more useful to this team, if that makes sense. Uh, Sane sometimes seems a little bit reluctant to follow the instructions of Guardiola. Like, you'll see him just not make the runs that Guardiola wants. You'll see him, like, just looking a bit, like, just frustrating at times. And as much as he's brilliant, he can also be incredibly frustrating. He can make you want to pull your hair out. But I get the impression this guy would be the ultimate system play. You know, absolutely excellent in the system. He can play anywhere. He's just a very Guardiola kind of player. Very versatile, a goal threat. Very quick with his passing. Very direct with his footwork. Um, very direct at scoring goals. Um, in general, just very useful. Exceptionally useful. And one of those kind of guys that become a bigger star, maybe at Manchester City. You know, like the ones that are not already stars. Like De Bruyne, okay, he was huge. But he's definitely a much bigger player he is now or someone like how we are helping take Laporte to the next step maybe he's this kind of signing and maybe you know he's the kind of guy where he's obviously very good and a lot of people know him but he isn't yet a household name and maybe we can do that with him that's a very much the city thing to do um having said that I will still be absolutely utterly gutted uh if Leroy Sane goes I mean he's obviously a freak of nature in terms of what he can do I I sometimes worry with Leroy Sane that um, the only way he could be his best, like in terms of the best version of Leroy Sane, isn't actually Manchester City. In terms of, I think he needs to be, not needs to be, but I think it's almost like, you know, Ronaldo would not have worked very well in the Guardian team because he was very self centered. I feel like Leroy, Leroy was self centered and just did what he wanted at all times. He probably got, like, he looked like a bigger star. Um, where sometimes I think he's a little bit reluctant to fit into a team shape. But having said that, Guardiola will make him a fantastic player, but one of many fantastic players. And I think Sarney probably sometimes would feel more at home in a, t- a team that builds around him. Which I don't think we're ever going to do that. So I think there's always a bit of a contradiction between what he wants and what City want. And this lad, um, if he came in, uh, he's all about you know work rate, movement, agility, all that kind of stuff. Uh, he likes players that uh, you know quite little, like, likes players that are tireless, and this would be very much that kind of thing. Uh, and he, he looks like a good little player. Um, obviously, he's not the really Sane. Obviously, he's not in the same thing. But sixty-seven million, and if you got around hundred million Sane, you know it wouldn't be the end of the world. Having said that, I am not an expert on this guy. As I've just said, uh, a lot of people will compare him to Griezmann. Griezmann obviously is an incredibly intelligent, dynamic forward. He can play anywhere across the front three. If he's level, if he's potentially the levels of Griezmann, I'm all for that because Griezmann, as much as he's a knobhead, is a fantastic footballer and the kind of person that I think Guardiola would actually like as well in terms of how they play. So maybe there's, there's something to that. Guys, if you've seen more of this guy, let me know um, in the comments below, of course, uh, because I always appreciate your feedback and these kind of things because this is, once again, not my area of expertise and that. So I know, doing a go. I still think, instinctively, I think he's going to stay. I just think it's, it's too complicated. I don't think we'll pay what they want. Uh, it did seem worrying after yesterday's game, as I said. Go watch the video from yesterday because it did feel like um, he wasn't there mentally. Uh, you know, they can tweet on the uh, whatever about, oh, back to England next and as a social media company do, but I don't really believe that. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about that. Uh, the other bit on the transfer target today is Lucas de Major. Um, According to reports from Malik Nixon, a very reliable journalist. For, for He's at the sun, but he's just dead good at these youth kind of loan kind of things. He tends to get these kind of things right. He said uh, the major will be going out on loan again, uh, but he actually prefers to go to somewhere like Germany uh, and not to back to the championship with Wigan uh, amongst other teams. Apparently, all want him. You know, he's 20 years old now. He's got uh, a big move ahead of him. Uh, Germany would make sense for him, given the fact that he's got German heritage. He's obviously started trying to represent them. Uh, in general, uh, Nemecha would score goals out there as well. I feel like he's at a cusp now of making a massive name for himself. I really like Nemecha. I thought his last uh, his performance yesterday when he came on was very useful. He showed the best sides of him in terms of his physicality. He showed his work rate. He got his goal by being in the right place at the right time. He created a couple of chances. Um, and he's a very, very good footballer. Um, he just needs this next move. And I think if he got to maybe Germany somewhere, got a loan... He'd probably end up scoring 10, 15 goals if he got plenty of games. I really believe in the nature. I think he's just primed to have a big season somewhere. Fingers crossed he does it and goes back to Manchester City, a better player. Uh, for now, though, that's kind of it on the transfer front. Obviously, there's a little bit of news popping about. Um, unfortunately, uh, Vincent Company lost his first game in charge at uh, Anderlecht, which is not really City news these days, but, you know, it's Vincent Company. I can't really mention it. They lost 2-1 to Ustendo, whatever it's called, uh, which is where that Palaversa guy's gone low. He played the full 90 minutes, which is an interesting one. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically that's kind of it today. Once again, I would like to know what you all think of Mikel Oyazabal, Oyazabal, whatever. 
very unique winger, allegedly. Let me know in the comments below. I want to say thank you as well to everyone who helps support this channel on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash esteem company. These guys here. Go and check out my video yesterday uh, when I talked about the game loads. Um, let me know what you make of this player and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you very, very soon.